Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you a magic. Yes, the new feature that is ASP.NET Dynamic Entity Data Website. You won't believe that you can create a website in 5 easy steps if you have your database ready. Say I have my database with me. table department and table employee now i want to create a web application which perform the operations like insert update delete and select all on these tables what is that i need to do i need to simply start a project or a website that is nothing but ASP.NET Dynamic Data Entity Website and I'll name it as Microsoft Magic Web App and I'll say OK. In Solution Explorer, I get many different folders and files in XYZ. I need not to worry about that as of now. As I told you, there are five steps that you need to perform. The first thing is adding entity data model. The things that we did in our earlier video. So I need to right click and say add new item. And I'm going to add ADO.NET entity data model. And I'll name it as organization. model so add next next I'm going to select both the tables they finish that is creating an EDM entity data model the second step that I need to perform is adding the namespace that is Microsoft Magic Web App. Copy this. And I'll add this namespace in the global file and I'll say using Microsoft Magic Web App. And the third step that I need to perform is uncomment a single line of code that I have that is in register roads static method and the line of code is default mode dot register context so I'll uncomment this and in place of your data context type I'm going to write my context class that is nothing but organization entities I'll copy this and I'll write my context class and the last step that I need to perform that is fifth step is set scaffold all table equals to true that's it we are ready with our web application I'm going to execute this as we have taken two tables in the entity data model the two tables are listed here in a beautiful grid if I click department, I can perform all the CUD operations. That is, I can insert a new department in, with this beautiful form. Say cancel. I can edit an existing department. Cancel. I can delete an existing department. And I can go for the details about the department and the beautiful thing is that there is a column or a field called as TBL employee and say view TBL employee. If I click this it is going to display me the information about this department that is all the employees belonging to this PDG department. So as of now I do not have any employees. Then back to home. I will go for department. 
if I click on QA view TBL department employees I get all the employees of that particular department I have wonderful drop down list it is going to list out all the employees of admin so your Microsoft your Visual Studio and your dynamic data site identifies that the employee table has a foreign key on department so it makes a drop down list for department I'll go back to home I can click on employee table I have all the employees listed with excellent paging feature back to home and if we have 100 tables in our entity data model you will find all the 100 tables listed here and all the forms associated to each table so you can explore it more you can perform each and every operation you can modify this you can customize this and you can use it as you like but for this video this is enough thank you very much